Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Tech Gatekeeper. Today we will be testing the Techware AIO. Um, this is the Mirage 240 model. So, yeah. So first I will be using the Ryzen Master. So in creator mode, there, this is the precision boost overdrive. So we will stress test or run a stress test so just to comparison um, I have this HW info 64 and I think this is a pretty good uh, sensor as well so right now current temperature is 42 and so here Let's apply test. So it's currently testing now, stress testing. So temperature, let's see, if it's almost the same. Oops, sorry. So 51, 51, 52, 52. So there's a slight point zero something difference, but it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, temperature is 44, the average, and I think it's good. Good, good about the game mode. We could put the game mode here. Play test. So, stress testing. Yeah, it's doing its job. I've been playing, or my son is playing the whole day yesterday. I've been monitoring the temperature. And I haven't seen it gone 60 degrees in ambient temperature. So, this is not the best or sci most scientific test for this. But it's on. <laughs> it's, the, it's the software and gadgets I have. So, at least you have an idea that it's working, right? So, yeah, we're done with the Ryzen Master. So the basic average temperature is 43. Yeah, same. Okay, so we will try the scene bench. It, and just to see your average is 45 current is 43 so let's click start okay it's starting by the way guys I'm just uh, using the stock thermal paste of uh, Techware AIO that comes with a box so I've heard rumors or I've seen some comments online that the thermal paste is really bad that's why they are encouraging you to use a third party um, thermal paste but in my case just to test I put the the stock one and there the result is good right so, I think um, I cannot say I can recommend, but for those who are thinking twice to use it, well, this is the one of the tests that I'm doing, so for you to decide. So, right now, temperature is 56, and I have the on my main PC I have the Ryzen 7 and I test it with stock AMD cooler fan and the temperature I got there is ranging from 65 to 75 using the Cinebench R23 so here I know this is not the same but just to give you an overview of what this tech work can do and I'm not even getting 60 for the maximum 
And right now, I'm in Malaysia, which is one of the warmest country in Southeast Asia. So it's 1 p.m., the hottest. Uh, um, the hottest uh, part of the day, I think. And I'm just in my ambient, no air condition windows or half open. So I apologize. I don't ha I don't know how to measure the ambient temperature, and I don't have gadgets for that. But just just to give you an idea, it's kind of warm now. So CPU temp. Look at that, a maximum is 57. <laughs> In my AMD rate uh, with Ryzen 7, I think my average idle average temperature is 60. And in Cinebench, Bench, it goes up to 65 to 75. So, yeah. So, current is 56. Hmm. This is good. The results I'm getting is uh, positive. So I will be building um, another PC for my wife and brother. And now I'm thinking twice. <laughs> I mean, uh, my original plan is to use the Kraken or other known brand. <clears throat> AIO, excuse me. But for the results we have today, I think I'm going to consider this tech fair. Apologies. Sorry. Excuse. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's the result that we have. Again, this is the mo not the most scientific test. But uh, just to give you a glimpse uh, how the techware works. Uh, yeah, it's working good. And I think I can highly recommend this for the budget uh, gaming PC. Um, for those who are asking about uh, testing while in the game, uh, apologize guys, I don't have the AAA games as of the moment. But uh, for Minecraft, uh, Fortnite, Diablo, and Brick Creeks, I think. Temperature is pretty much average. Uh, I'm not getting any red alert. Um, regarding this uh, so yeah that's it um, kudos to techware uh, this is a good AIO at, at least in our test and thank you for watching guys and have a great one bye